Welcome to Healthy by Knowledge, the show that makes being healthy easy by showing you how, and I am your host, Zaid Shah. Now, today I'm going to share with you a quick and easy recipe to make delicious homemade ice cream. And the best part about this recipe is that it's lactose free. So if you're lactose intolerant, you're going to be able to feast your teeth into this delicious ice cream without feeling bloated and all of that, that nasty stuff that comes along with being lactose intolerant. So the main ingredient for this recipe, for this ice cream is going to be banana. So as you can see, these bananas look absolutely delicious. Well, not really. Many people would tell you they look absolutely disgusting. But uh, in fact, when your banana is nice and brown and ripe like this, it's at its most sugary point and these are borderline going off. So if you ever chuck these bananas out, when you see them like this, don't. Just peel them and freeze them and make some tasty ice cream with them. And you're going to be laughing, especially if you're lactose intolerant. So we're going to start off by peeling them and placing them into this sandwich bag that I got right here. And then we're gonna stick them in the freezer for a couple of hours. So, peel them, stick them in the sandwich bag, zip that baby up and stick it in the freezer. Ooh. Right, so once the three or four hours are up, this is what your bananas are gonna look like. They're gonna be frozen together because you had them in that bag, but that doesn't really matter because you can split them apart really easily. So now, what you need to grab is your food processor, pop the lid off and just stick your frozen banana in the food processor. So just see how easy that comes apart. And now for the other ingredients. Hmm, ridiculous. So let's get this out of the way. Cacao powder, peanut butter, and just a pinch of salt to really bring out those flavors. Right, so we're gonna begin with the cacao powder. Just a teaspoon, that's all you need. A teaspoon of peanut butter. And now just a pinch of salt. I mean, honestly, this, this is just, there's next to no salt in there. It's just a little bit to bring out those flavors because if you put too much salt in there, it's gonna be disgusting. So you wanna find that perfect balance and just a little tiny pinch is all you need. Now you pop the lid on, whack it on, and that's just gonna take about 30 seconds to 45 seconds, no more than that. And that's it. So, now check that out. It's nice and cold, that's looking delicious. And that's it, that's your chocolate ice cream done. 